My name should have been Mark. I just thought I'd let everyone know that. I kind of don't know why my name is not Mark, but this shit happens. You you become your name is Josh sometimes, and you can't help that. And when your name's Josh, you, you gotta live with that and not Mark because you find out it's supposed to be your name, but but somewhere down the line, I swear I think my parents kind of screwed up with my name because I mean there there's no way that like I can't not be Mark. So why why the hell like am I Josh, you know? Like if I if I looked at a kid, I'd automatically know what to name him. If he has like black hair and you know, he has like kinda like a pale looking face, his name would be Calvin. And like it just the looks kinda describe the name. Like a Keith a Keith is a ponytail person, believe it or not. And oh shit. I can scare the fucking shit out of it. Um, uh, uh, oh, it wasn't even a big deal because I jumped off a of way higher heights before my lifetime. I swear to God, I feel like this fucking feeling I got. It, it's not a new. It's not normal. It's not unusual. Like, uh, I feel like grape jelly mixed with um, celery salt, and then you like you mix those together. You're you're not gonna get a good combination. Let me tell you that. Huh? There's a lot of girls out there that'll like you if you if you perform Usher or you start to sing like you really mean it. You know, don't sing like your heart's not. Like your life's not dependent on it or something. You don't need to be in sync. It looks like you managed to succeed. Knowing your skills, I feel fine letting you handle powder kegs on your own. It was bad of me to put you through such a dangerous test. I want you to take this as my apology. Yes, I got a powder keg. This is the new item on the screen. Press C to light it, then tap C to place it. Be careful, it's sheer power and size are immense. Powder kegs are very volatile. Vo volatile. So you can carry only one at a time. If you shoot them with an arrow, they'll explode as soon as they're hit. So be careful. So see, this is what he's talking about. I only got one. I can only carry one. Isn't that ridiculous? But I do need that for something. But right now, we are going to go find another heart piece. And then everyone's going to fucking leave me alone. Let me eat my Rice Krispie treat. Because it's, it's sitting there and I want to eat it. Because... It's mine. <laughs> it's all mine. Every single last one of the fucking delicious bits on it. Um, pink is not my favorite color, but purple might be because there's a lot of times when people are always against purple, and it really it hits me in the spot where I can't be hit anymore. You know, my spot's already been hit way too many times, and Let's just say that it's not really good for my future anymore. <laughs> anymore. Like it fucking was. Like it was in the first place. You know, just... Why don't you just take a dip in the pool with me. With, uh... With Bill Gates. And maybe we can work out some Bill problems. Oh my god! His name's Bill Gates because they named the Bills after him. <laughs> He's like... He's like, no one can get my money anymore. He was like, we're going to give him a paper. Something that they, something that tells them how much energy they generate and something that they have to owe on the paper. And then look at it. How about we name it after you? Well, we'll call it, we'll call it Bill. <laughs> we'll call it a Bill. <laughs> because people got to fucking, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my fucking. Oh, fuck that. I am burning him alive. Bitch, get the fuck out of my way. <laughs> Y'all didn't know that. Y'all didn't know that. Alright, so it's poison over here. So I gotta be careful. Or I, got, or I gotta be, you know. There's not much time left. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah, I forgot the monkey was there. I mean, how would he know that I was coming there 
when his other monkey friends didn't even fucking let him know. I really don't get. I'm so damn sick of this place. <laughs> oh my god. So just all that time I fucking spent in here, just like going through here and there and every single fucking where. I, I don't. When you wear jeans under your underwear, you call them dungaroos, not dungarees. If my name was Reese, I'd probably name my jeans like after. I'd probably name it Dungarees because. Just to say the least. Alright, I need I really need a picture of him. Like a real picture of him. Fuck. Oh come on, you didn't look at the camera, you fuck. Say shit. Ooh, someone's grumpy today. Well, we're gonna have to fix that with medication. <laughs> yeah, we got a lot of medication up in the bathroom fucking cabinets. Or Vin Diesel also Pogo challenged me. So while I was falling off the Pogo stick, my head hit an antenna, and I was spinning around and around. Then all of a sudden, uh, I landed on some guy's bike while he was bicycling through France. And then Vin Diesel came by in like a helicopter, and he dropped down. He was like, "How's France, dick?" And I was like, "Damn you, Vin Diesel! Damn you and your good looks!" How about I just fucking, yeah, how about I just go over there and not risk the poison, like seriously? Wait a minute. Is it over? Don't tell me. Don't you dare fucking tell me shit. And no one wants to hear anything. Aw, oh, man, if the contest is over again, I'm gonna fucking, ugh. So I remember this happened fucking last time, and I'm not going through this again. I don't know how, no, how, no matter how many cats that are pink and fuzzy up in the anime and have hypnotizing eyes and, you know, they, they sing a bunch of fucking folk tune songs while the AAA batteries are draining, then maybe you can come see me at the end because this is not working out. There was a heart piece up there, but I know, I know, I saw it. But here's the thing, though. If he accepts my thing, what? Grass spoiled and shit. Oh, uh uh, well, welcome. Is the contest not over? The king, you are amazing. If you're not a Deku scrub, you're not allowed to enter the Deku palace. But somehow he took the picture. This is a great shot. This is as rare as it comes. I'll give you a big prize. Fuck yeah, I got another motherfucking heart piece. I'm looking forward to your next picture. <laughs> it's like, do you want a picture of yourself? These are called selfies in uh, the year 2009 in the future, if you didn't fucking know that. You know, I wish everything was simple as like, the time when this game was out again. Like, maybe I'd be a better person. But then again, YouTube wouldn't be out and I wouldn't be able to upload videos. See, there's like a, there's a sheer balance to all this. I feel like, no matter what, no matter what, <laughs> there, there's a sheer balance to all this, and everything that I think about and everything that I know is always from, like, the past or earlier, because, alright, say you and your friend used to go to Chuck E. Cheese as a kid, right? I never did, but say you and your friend did. You and, alright, can we get the hell out of here? I don't want to fight them. Say you and your friend went there as a kid, and they got all these awesome games. They had Mortal Kombat. They had fucking Street Fighter. They had some fucking dancing games. They had some, like, unique things that came out. And then when you're, like, 20, say you just go there for the fuck of it. You and your friend want to do something stupid, and you guys go, go there for the fuck of it in your 20s. And then all of a sudden, you see a bunch of little kids there. And not even, like, you just ignore the little kids, right? Oh, man, this guy steals my sword, so I need to fucking take him out. Oh, fuck. Take some, take some fucking practice. Get the fuck out. He's shitting out rubies, but that's a trap. I'm not going for them. Ah, oh, get the fuck out. And, uh, those little kids are the, like, they like different shit than us, 
And to us, it's really stupid, but you want to know what? I came to realize that the adults in past, like, in the 80s, that grew up in the 80s, and say you grew up in the 90s, the adults in the 80s are going to say everything in the 90s is stupid. So it, it, it came a time where it hit us earlier. Like, we're 20 saying everything's stupid now, because why was there such a big generation gap? They, I think I know why. I think because the entertainment in today is just now, can you fucking die holy fuck I'll get the fuck out that was one last set who was coming at me oh I thought he dropped something alright let's go so apparently I have to go back to the first day but I'm getting an owl statue over here I gotta go back to the first day because I wasted a lot of time. Like, I have to go back to the first day to complete this new area of the top. Let me get this. Pow! Spread those wheat. Spread those cheap for wheat. <laughs> Got you. Oh. Got you, you fuck. <laughs> That's so fucking weird. I don't even know why they would have... Like, look at this. Who would think of him? I would not be able to sit down one day and think of a green conehead motherfucker with a clown nose and some clown pants. Fucking clown shoes. And he's 35 and he wants to be a fairy. Like, I don't know what kind of therapy the guy had when he was making this game. Uh, Romani Ranch. This is what it's called, Romani Ranch. See, I got the map, and now I can see the map on my map. All right. Um. Let's see. That's what I got in the map. Yeah. See, I filled up that little. There was a little cloudy space over there. Now, now I can fill that up. All right. So, let's see. All right. We started off in Clock Town. We came to Woodfall. We went to the Deku Palace, and we got that out of the way. Second one was Snowhead and Goron Village. Now the th the third area now is Romani Ranch. Now uh, there's not a temple over here, but this is this is really like a level to me because there's a kind of a decent amount of shit to do over here. You know, this is kind of like another part to progress through the third temple of the game, and uh, you're gonna see that later on. You know, it, there's, there's, uh, aliens doing cartwheels in my front yard, and I wish they would just stop and leave us all alone. We are all sick of this shit. <laughs> As America, we cannot take this shit anymore. Everybody always out there, always fucking working, and they're always in their nice-ass cars, doing nothing but talking on the phone and shitting in their fucking car. And you want to know why I say shitting? Because everything they fucking say isn't what American is supposed to do. American is freedom. America is is naked. They, they love to run nude around. This is why France don't like us. Because <laughs> they, they're not naked. You know what? If everybody just learned to fucking accept one another, this world would be such a fucking better place. But you want to know what? I feel like that... Sorry, but uh, I feel like that if we stopped all the killing and all that, you know, maybe this world would be a better place, but, you know, you guys can't cut the shit, and this is why we're all fucked up. Even T, you know what's even funnier? It's like, a kid can't go to the store and buy a video game that's rated M, but he can go out and buy a DVD that represents real people, uh putting images in your head like the real thing like if you watch Cha texas chainsaw massacre that's okay for a kid to buy at a fucking store and they're not going to card them but god forbid he buys a game that's colors and they're representing a gruesome image too but here's the thing though like who gives a fuck it's not even real you're putting real people in there that he can just buy it's it really bangs my head in this tree right here, and I'm, I'm not even going to do it. All right, everybody. I'm going to go back to that ranch next time on the first day. I'm Yoko 1993. Everybody, peace the fuck out.
Poco stick.